The Leafs knocked off the best in the East. The Raptors have now secured a playoff spot. And you guys, Canada men's soccer is going to the World Cup for the first time since 1986. Mark that on your calendar. I'm Norzana and this is Toronto Today. A long time coming, but we are going to the World Cup. In your wildest dreams, from obscurity to unforgettable, this is the moment the country has waited for. The kings of the north, they've done it! For the first time since 1986, they did that after a 4-0 victory over Jamaica at Bioma Field yesterday. It was freezing cold, it was snowing, but it was perfect. There were a record number of people there for this gang to cheer on the boys on the way to the World Cup. But is the job done? Job's not done. They have one more match against Panama, and if they win or draw that one, that would decide if they end up at the top of the region of that table. And what a statement win that would be. Now to the ice. The Leafs should be feeling pretty good about themselves after a 5-2 victory over the Eastern Conference leading Florida Panthers, thanks to two goals from captain John Tavares. Mitch Marner also added three assists, but Austin Matthews matched his career high with the 47th goal of the season. Now they take on the Boston Bruins on Tuesday, and that should be a playoff atmosphere like no other. And finally, to the Raptors, who got a big win over the Cavs over the weekend that got them in the sixth spot for the Eastern Conference. But it won't be a walk in the park tonight as they take on the hottest team in the Eastern Conference and maybe even the league, the Boston Celtics. The Celtics have won six straight and they're unbeaten in their last eight road games against the Raptors. But guess who's the favorite here? The Raptors at minus four and a half because they've also been balling. It's a great time to be a Toronto sports fan. And with all that, you've been caught up on sports in the six. You know where to find us, all of our socials at The Parlay, as well as Parlay TV, and we will see you tomorrow.